uh, PPSH uh, 20 or PPSH 50, the Puma Pieta. It's um, I bought this uh, from Marstar.ca. It's got some issues. Um, it doesn't want to feed properly. It um, when you fire it, it will generally fire the first round, eject the cartridge, load the next one, but it doesn't on uh, when it's recharging. When it cocks, it's not resetting the firing pin. It's not, uh, seems like there's too much spring pressure or something. I have only fired it below minus 25 up till now. I put 400 rounds through at those temperatures to see what was going on. Figuring, I've heard these things can have issues at first, so I wanted to try to run it in. So I put 400 rounds through it, and it's still doing the same thing. So I'm just going to be trying to uh, demonstrate what it's doing so I can uh, get you guys at uh, Marsar to see. And it's pretty simple. Nothing, fires once, stops. I dropped the mag a bit because I don't want to jam two rounds in. It has charged the next round, but the uh, mag, it hasn't fully uh, cocked the, uh, the firing pin. So if I reset it, nothing that time. Uh, helps if I charge it. There. That's one of the longer ones it's done, and it'll have done the same thing. There's another round in the chamber, but it hasn't reset the firing pin. Bring it back, set it, put the mag back on, and again, same thing. Now, below minus 25, it was like every round. Could actually be a bad round this time. Because that one, the firing pin did pop. Yeah. They're fun to get out when they do this. The extractor doesn't seem to want to grab them to eject them unless they fire. For the point of information, these are the uh, Winchester Dyna points. Um, they are. Uh, 500 round, you know, little bulk box. It's almost empty because that's what all these have been. I have a whole pile of 22s and I use those or any of those bulk ones and all of them and I haven't had trouble with any of the others. Automatics, bolts, or single shot 22s I have. See, once again, same thing. See, the next round worked once the uh, time didn't feed the round the round was stuck there it's all mangled bent like a little banana it didn't come back full enough to fully grab the round so it's once again didn't even feed the next round so it's ejecting it's almost like the springs have too much pressure on them and didn't fully eject. The brass is stuck in the mouth. So. Brass is stuck in the mouth again. And the round is jammed. The bolt didn't close. It's, once again, the bolt is bent like a banana inside there. I bought this 22 for the purpose of predator control on our little farm here. We have 12 acres and I've, this year I've had to shoot foxes, coyotes, uh, magpies, crows, owls, uh, fishers, mink, no it wasn't a fisher, it was a mink, uh, weasels, we've had you name it in here, uh, three skunks going after our birds, our bees, our uh, sheep, you name it. If there was, you know, the only thing that hasn't shown up so far are the bears and the wolves. And I don't want to press my luck by mentioning that, because with my luck. That's 50 rounds through it, and you saw how many times that goofed up. So, 
some serious issues. I think that the spring, and to me the spring appears to have too much uh, tension on it. It's not letting the bolt fully come back. Um, could be some feed issues with the mag, but I think the main problem is in the spring. Anyway, that's what it's doing. That was actually a lot better run. That was the best it's gone through a mag. Oftentimes it's resetting them, popping the mag out, recharging the bolt after every single shot. So, But today it's only minus 17, 18 out right now. It's actually the warmest day. Two nights ago it was minus 39 Celsius. So, uh, hands get cold quick, but that's the issues I'm having. Let's see if we can get this figured out.